Hello, dear friends! Welcome to Lunar Fern Studio! And as you may see, my Christmas tree is still here. Again. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird to have a Christmas tree in the end of January, but I just can't find time to redecorate it because every single minute I'm painting, I'm working on my site, I'm creating new products and videos. <laughs> and today I want to talk about one very interesting uh, material. Gold foil. <laughs> I work with it not so long, maybe a couple years, but I love it so much. Here I have copper, silver and gold foil. Of course it's not a real precious metal, it's just the color of foil. Yes, and I want to show you some examples of my work with it. And after it, a whole process of creating a pendant with gold foil. I use gold leaf to highlight some elements like eyes on this pendant. Or this unicorn horn. It looks so deep. Here I used silver foil. I will show you later on how I made it blue. Copper color is perfect for red hair. It makes hairs shine and glow. I definitely need to paint a redhead girl again. Also, I use it for ginger fur on this custom order. I didn't film it and I'm so sad about it. But at least I have photos and you may see how shiny is it. Another one custom order without video. Here the sky is painted on a gold leaf. The gold color is great for elements like jewelry or spots. And some teeny foil elements looks nice too. And now I want to show you another one. A secret Christmas gift custom order that I made this autumn. My customer asked me to paint a kingfisher and I thought it would be interesting to make his feather shiny because it's so bright and colorful and beautiful bird. And my customer loved this idea. We picked the stone, figured out how the pose should look like and I made a detailed sketch. After it, I transferred the sketch on the stone and covered it with a special glue for a gold leaf. I have two different types of glue for it. One extremely cheap on the water base and one extremely expensive on the oil base. Honestly, I can't say the expensive one is perfect, so I will try to find something better. I added glue on all parts of the bird that should be shiny. This oil-based glue should dry while free house before you can apply the foil. When it becomes dry and sticky, I place the foil and clean it up to make the contour clear. Now it's time for the most interesting part. I need to make this silver foil blue and orange, like bird's feather. For orange color I took stained glass paints. They are absolutely transparent. I took the red, yellow, transparent base, mixed the orange color and painted the chest and head of Kingfisher. Stained glass paint should completely dry before the next stage. I didn't have bright blue glass paint, so I used a trick that I think up for this unicorn horn. I used Ecoline brush pen. The inks are transparent, but you need the patterns to apply it on the varnish coat. After a couple of layers, I got the color I wanted. I covered it with a varnish coat and started to paint. By the way, subscribe to my channel if you're not yet. And hit the bell button to not miss the next videos. I wanted to make this shine slightly visible through the feathers. That's why I didn't try to avoid strokes on the painting.
In general, the painting process is similar to my usual work and if you want to know details, check my free step-by-step -step tutorial. As usual, I will leave the link in the description. I like to use different materials in my works. You may see leaves, butterfly wings and even shakers in my previous video. And except gold leaves to make uh, some parts of painting shiny, you may use metallic acrylic paint or different glitters. I could recommend looking for them in nail art shops. They have so many different glitters and shimmers and rhinestones. I love to add rhinestones to painting. Uh, if you want, I can make a video about it, so let me know if it's interesting for you. Honestly, this video inspired me so much. I can't wait to start new works and use gold leaf or glitter. I definitely should make a tutorial about it. I thought about making tutorials while last two years, I guess, and I don't know if anyone who need it and where to place it and how to balance my time with it. One time I had an idea to make courses on Skillshare. But I heard so mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people dislike it, and the worst is some people who liked it sometimes start to hate this platform because it acts unfair and bans them with no real reason. I think the Patreon is better because at least they don't ban people for nothing. So I think it would be better to start the Patreon account one day. I know I don't have enough big audience, but should it stop me? Maybe it's okay to start with less responsibility. It always scares me to know you should make content each month, no matter what. Are you sick? Are you on holiday? Are you moving? You should make it. Now, after I started to post videos on my YouTube channel almost every week, I think it's not so impossible to make just one additional video in a month and some other content for your Patreons. So probably I will make my Patreon one day to make tutorials and share my work process in more detailed step-by-step -step form. Please let me know what do you think about it in the comments. Do you have any ideas, what should I post and what would you like to see from me? Meanwhile, the painting is almost finished. In the end, I added blue metallic acrylic drops to balance the composition. And here is the final look.
I hope this video was inspiring and you find some ideas uh, how to use gold leaf in your works. Thank you so much for watching and see you in next videos. Bye-bye.